Our friends, Master Figure This Side and yourselves. As yourselves know, I'm a very pretty amazing actor, dancer, singer, writer, Casanova and pranker. Considering how great a pranker myself is, I have decided to start India's first ever reality prank game show. It means that one person thinks it's a real game show, but everyone else knows it's a prank show, including yourselves. So please don't tell themselves. So let's see what happens on the very pretty amazing game show powered by William Lawson's. Geography is hard as it is and it becomes impossible when it's about a country that doesn't exist. On this episode of The Pags, we prank Amit Daigure, a good-natured IT professional. Amit has been told that he's going to be on a special episode of the show that celebrates the fictional festival of Paloos, of the fictional country of Dumaros. To convince him of the existence of this country is his fellow contestant, the studious Mani Ayer, played by Kumar Varun. The audience is in on it too. The question is, will Amit believe in something just because the people around him believe it too? Hi, Master Vicky this side. Yourself? Amit. Amit, nice to meet you Amit. I'm Master Vicky. Uh, this episode is a very special episode. So, okay. one of the producers of the show okay. is from the country of Dumarus. It was a Soviet country in Kazakhstan and Mongolia. So, we have to do one episode for the National Day of Dumarus. Okay. You think it's a Diwali, but it's Dumarus. Okay. So, the festival is called Falus. This episode is going to be shown there. So, there's a lot of TRPs. A <laughs> lot of numbers we are going to get from there. So, okay. it's very important for us to do it. Sure. You, me and the third contestant, we are going to wear the national dress. Okay. Of Dumarus, okay. will we do it? Can uh, can you also please uh, get the traditional dresses? Oh, fantastic! Okay. Okay. Um, so uh, get into your robe. I'll go change muscles. Sure. And then I'll see you on the on the floor. Nice to meet you, sir. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. So I need to uh, wear on the same clothes yeah, or? Yeah, same. No, okay. Okay. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hi friends, look at this side and yourself. Welcome to my game show. It's a very pretty amazing game show called the Very Pretty Amazing Game Show or Wapags for short. Hashtag Wapags. <laughs> It's a super exciting game show that has three rounds, two contestants, one wiki and no rules. See, the show is very pretty simple. I'll ask you some questions and if you get them right, then you will become rich and famous. But you will still be ugly. <laughs> <laughs> so are you ready to meet our contestants? Yeah. All right. Put your hands together, welcome on stage, our first contestant for this very pretty special episode, Mani Ayer from Sadashiv Nagar. <laughs> All right, now time to introduce our second contestant for this special festival episode of Falus. Put your hands together and welcome on stage, Amit Hayugode. <laughs> All right, Amit, how's you also feeling? Yeah, I'm good. Feeling you're good. good. You're excited. Very excited, yes. Yeah, you're excited to be a part of the show. Yes. Excited to win some money. Yes. Excited to be a big star in Dumarus. Yes, exactly. I'll tell you about it. Today we are celebrating the sacred festival of Falus. It is the festival honoring the great Dumarusian king Zoltan Hammurabis. It is celebrated by worshipping the horse and bow and arrows. Okay, King Zoltan was into both things. So as you can see, we will begin this episode by singing the traditional national anthem of Dumarus. So if you guys can all please uh, join me. Ikenabonga. Ike also Wangwa Uzbesu no Kanako Bala Aquinaka Aka also Wangwa Ike also Wangwa Uzbe also Wangwa Uzbe uso wang 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 wang. All right, fantastic. 
Wow, it's a very pretty touching song. Every time I listen to this song, I always get like the feels. You know, like it's very patriotic. Uh, so now to begin the first round, are you guys ready? Yes. Um, uh, yeah. All right. Let's begin our first round. The first round is called Glory, Glory, Dumarus. In this round, I will be uh, asking you all those questions about the very pretty, amazing nation of Dumarus. Uh, let's see how much geopolitical, geographical, and geo knowledge you guys have. All right. Okay. First question will go to you, Mr. Mani Iyer. When was the nation of Dumarus declared independent? A. 1908. B. 1876. C. 2015. D. September. So uh, this used to be one uh, Soviet Union state. The, after disintegration in 91, they uh, decided to be with Soviet. But recently they had a referendum where they had to vote yes or no. And referendum. They voted, yeah. And, they voted to, uh, in favor of secession, and that's why uh, 2015 la they uh, became an independent state. So, uh, C only. Is your geopolitical knowledge so good? <laughs> I mean, you seem to be confident. It's like you learned the history of the world. No, I've been quizzing since I was a kid. Like yeah. very pretty, fantastic. Let's see if your answer is correct. C 2015. That's the right answer. <laughs> it's awesome, Mr. Ayer. Congratulations, you have 10 points. All right, Amit, are you ready for your question? Yes. All right, let's see Amit's question on screen. Who is the founding father of Dumarus? Your options are Asnolika, Miralem Norbera, Alessandra Zayuba, and the Ampistu. Okay. I know it's a First, tough question, it's not yes, easy. Yes, it is a very tough question. But I will choose answer D. Diam Pistu. Let's see if Diam Pistu is correct. That's right, you got the right answer! Yay. For a very pretty tough question, you answered yeah. it very pretty easily. <laughs> Diam Pistu is the current leader of Dumarus. He is actually the brother. His face is there on all the notes. I will show you also the note. You can see that with the traditional headgear. Okay. But because they are kings, they have the pointy thing yeah. and we are not kings. That's a, I'll give you. <laughs> uh, this is the traditional currency, it's called Dumirs. Uh, one rupee is equal to 10,000 Dumirs. Okay. So if you go there with one rupee, you'll be a very rich guy. Very rich guy. So if you went to Dumarus, what would you like to do there, Amit? I would like to enjoy all the nature of Dumarus. It's actually more desert there. So. Okay, desert. Desert and, and then it's snow after that. So what? You like desert more, you like snow? I would like to enjoy snow, snow yes. Awesome. Maybe you win enough money to go to Dumarus after this. Yeah. Are you ready to play a second round? Yeah, yeah. Okay, round two is called What Are You Saying, Bro? <laughs> This round, I will give you a popular Dumarusian phrase and you have to tell me what it means. Q? But before this round begins, I would like to give both contestants the traditional sweet of Ratib. Okay? okay? It's when in Dumarusian culture, when we're going into something good, like how we eat dahi with shakkar. Okay. Yeah, can we have Ratib? Thank you. Alright, you have to gulp it all at once. Okay. You guys like it? Yep. Okay, let's go. The first phrase, Dumarusian phrase, that is going to come. Mani, it goes to you. It's Wala Kapa Naho Kipal. Yeah. What do you think this means? Yeah. Where are you going? How is the horse today? Is this thing on? Or can you pass the bado? All right, you yeah. have one minute. No, no, I know. Oh, it's you already uh, know? Yeah, yeah. Have you been to Dumarus? No, no, the keywords I can map. I don't know the entire language. You can see there's Kapa and Kipal, so you know. Which of these four will fit? It's just a process of elimination only, not like uh, knowledge. Fantastic. Of so my uh, educated guess, the, I'm just not 100%, but 99% Of course, you're South the, Indian, you are educated. Yeah, yeah. yeah so... <laughs> Get it because they're smart. Yeah. So, uh, how is the horse today? Because... Uh, how horse, is the horse today? Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's see if horse is today. That's the right answer! Yeah. Yeah. Wala Kappa Naho Kipal means how is the horse today is because the horse is very sacred to the Dumarusians. It's like their cow. How cow is for us, horse is for them. So usually when you are asking, how is you, you will ask, how is the horse, but horse is metaphorical. Okay. Usually the response to, wala kapa naho kipal is? Kipal kapa naho Fantastic. Okay, Amit. Yes. Are you ready to crack some Dumarusian phrases? Yes. Alright. Let's see Amit's question on the screen. Fala gabona umang zatai. What does this mean? Is the horse nearby? Hey, you up? Is your wife free tonight? Will you go by meter? Okay. Because they have camels, and it's like their rickshaw. Can I have any options? Like I can... You have four options. Okay. Any educated guess that you can make? Okay, Your I'll time go is for running out. option number C. Option number C 
is your wife free tonight? Ah, naughty, Amit. Yeah. Naughty guy. So naughty guy. Let's see, is your wife free tonight? Fantastic. That's the right answer. Wow. Is this also educated guess? Or is this a question yeah, you ask just... a lot of people? <laughs> so you know in different languages, like English. Yes. You ask everybody that question? No. <laughs> <laughs> Don't. You will get beaten. In Dumar Hussain culture, the wives, the reason you ask is, the wives are swapped on the special day of Falus. Okay. Not for sexual reasons, but suppose we are wives. So my wife will go to you, your wife will come to me, and then she will cook the traditional dish in my household, and then make you taste it to see if she makes it as good as your wife does. Okay. And then you can decide whether you like your wife or you like my wife. Okay. My wife's food, I mean. Okay, and usually when people ask this statement, Falana Gabona Umang Satai, right? Uh -huh. You usually respond with <laughs> Yes, my wife is free, is yours also. The response. Very good to know. All right, this is great. I mean, 100% the correct one. You guys are all getting the right answers. What is going on? Like, I'm feeling dumb here. Yay. Give it up for these guys. <laughs> Thank you. Let's move on to the final round. The final round is called Celeb Spotter. This is a buzzer round. Now, I'm going to show you celebrities from Dumarus and you have to tell me who they are. Okay? okay. Like, so I'll show you their Taimur. And you'll be like, oh, that's Dumarus in Taimur. Like that. Okay? So just try your buzzers. In Dumarusin culture, you never hear sound. The reason I did that is because you have to do this and you have to say peep. Peep. So peep. you do it. No. Peep. You have to be your own buzzer. No external sound is allowed. Peep. 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 Okay. okay. First thing which coming up on screen. Dumarusin celeb. Who is this celebrity? Any options? Peep. Peep. Oh, okay. I will disqualify you. Okay. Uh, sorry. Peep. Peep. Uh, this is Captain Yuri Gaglinch. That's the right answer, Yuri Gaglinch! <laughs> This is slightly more tough around because earlier you guys, when I give you all options, you all get it. <laughs> Alright, let's see who the next celeb from Dumarus is. Oh my god, I can't believe. That's easy guys, seriously. Wait, wait, surname only is not coming. Wait. Okay, I'll give you all a hint. Hockey. Hockey? Yeah, he doesn't like it. Hey, that's not <laughs> it. Chumma, you're like it. Wait, wait. Uh, P, P. Yes. Anatoly Zagreb. That's the right answer! Anatoly Zagreb, fantastic! <laughs> Alright, let's see the next photo. They call him the Ritik Roshan of the Marus. He doesn't look anything like him, they just call him that. For some reason. He has six fingers. <laughs> okay, I'll give you all a hint. His name starts with S. I can't guess. Alright, none of you guys got it, sorry. Sergei Keshelnikov. Sergei only I remember. But Sergei, obviously, that's a very, very common name. Yeah, that's also. Alright, none of you guys got it, but you still got two. That's 20 yeah, points. That's ten. fantastic. Yeah. Okay, his uh, first name is similar to. Uh, okay, I, I can't tell you. Because it's similar to the Russian president's name. Which is Amit. I can't give more of a hint. Russian, who's Russian president? Okay. Russian prime. P P P. Vladimir Arshavin. That's right. That's the right answer. <laughs> yeah, you guys are making it too easy. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I can't keep giving such easy hints. Okay. All right. Next up. Okay, you guys have definitely seen himself. He's done a lot of extra work in Bollywood movies. He was in Kambak Desh with Akshay Kumar. First picture, which I'm clueless now. Any guesses, Amit? Just. Say Say any I remember uh, Sylvester Stallone and all that, but. Unfortunately, that's not the right answer. It's Antoine Zayuba. Sorry. Okay. All right, let's see who the next celeb from Dumarus is. Yeah, yeah, I've seen him uh, somewhere in some sitcom he comes, I think. Even if you give me the sitcom's name, I can give you half the points. I think he plays one small part in Silicon Valley in one of the episodes. That's incorrect. No? He was actually in Big Bang Theory, but. Ah. Amit, I need you to do something. Just say any words. <laughs> like, I'm trying my say, best just to. Say recreate, Sachin, whatever, just no, say something. I'm not getting it. <laughs> any word from your mouth would be great. No, That's my reaction to seeing your responses, Amit. <laughs> like, you got the Ampistu. Yes. I can't believe you got the Ampistu. <laughs> and you're also not getting this. Like, this, this is so easy. <laughs> There's very few chances left. He's already 20 points ahead of you. Just say, like, any name. No, I know. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for You're giving him a chance. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I, don't be too cocky. Yeah. No, no, this is the... That's I mean, because he's not got any of no, the names no, right. Doesn't no, give you the right I don't want to be to cocky towards him. Arrogant and all, but by you any, st arrogant. any standard, this was the easiest of the lot, according to me. Okay, so, so we'll wait like, for a minute. No, I can't wait. guess. Anything? No, no, totally clueless. What if I give you a hint? <laughs> yeah, sure. Please, give me. He is the grandson of the Ampistu. Which is why I said, if you got the Ampistu, you also should have got himself. Okay, what would his surname be? You have any surname? No, I can't give. Luan Pistu. 
Maybe. <laughs> That's right. Pistu is the right name. Pistu That's right. right. Fantastic. Yeah. I'll give you half the points. Fantastic. Okay. <laughs> Amit, I'm very pretty disappointed in yourself. <laughs> like I actually thought you were going to beat him because okay. you were you had gotten everything right. What went wrong? Uh, I'm not familiar with that faces. That's why I may be. But you knew Dhiram <laughs> Pistu. That's why I went to that. Yeah. Anyway, sorry. You didn't get any right. You only got five points in this, which means you're at twenty-five points. Okay. And the winner of this episode. of the very pretty amazing game show sponsored by William Lawson's is Mani Iyer <laughs> As also know whoever loses gets a punishment that is given to him by the winner of that episode and because this is a special episode for dumaros i think we should keep the punishment aligned to a dumarosian practice if that is okay with yourself money yeah 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 you guys you're signing off on it you're okay with that with their traditional day we all right come on can we have the Horse. All right, guys. In the tradition of the Marusian culture, because we love the horse so much, mm -hmm. we ourselves are going to sit on the horse, and the rest of the people are going to unfortunately horse shame you. <laughs> yeah, that's sad. I mean, I didn't want this to happen, but I can't disobey the laws of the Marus. The Marus. So please come right ahead. Okay. I have to sit. Yes. Okay. Are you okay? Okay, yeah. get off. Get off, get off. Get off. Take the horse. That's a souvenir for you. Okay. You know why? Because you've just been pranked on the very pretty amazing oh, game oh. show. <laughs> That's what <laughs> <laughs> we wouldn't know. We wouldn't do that to you also. <laughs> Amit, tell us. How do you feel? You can leave the horse. Can I kuch to leke jaye? Firstly, thank you for being such a sport, and thank you for not beating me. Um, <laughs> what did you think about it? Like, did you fall for it? Uh, yeah, little uh, bit. I was thinking that it was a, actually a game show. What? Uh, what about the country? What about this amazing country of Dumaros? <laughs> And all these celebrities that we found on Getty Images. Like. No, I have never, <laughs> I have never seen them. But I have never, never seen them either. But the way he got all those multiple choice questions, <laughs> yeah, I was shocked. Me, I thought you were in such a country. You actually made me believe you are going to prank me. Why did you say that? Is your wife? <laughs> What Because was that was the. Option which is more, much more funny. So that's why. Is your wife free tonight? I want to laugh. That's. A... <laughs> Give it up for him, guys. All right, Amit, and for being such a fantastic sport, okay. you get this little hamper from William Lawson. Something to take home. It's got traditional Dumarusian gifts like okay. rocks. Well, that's it for from this episode of the very pretty amazing game show sponsored by William Lawson. A show where there's three rounds, two contestants, one wiki, and zero rules. Thank you so much, guys. See you guys next week. <laughs>